All right, well, after months of working from home in this new normal, for certain people, that could create a little anxiety given that we're seeing spikes in COVID-19 cases in certain states. Yeah, think about that. So as most of Indiana prepares to officially enter stage five of reopening this weekend, many companies might be considering bringing more employees back to the office. It's why I spoke with Dr. Tasha Yurik, an organizational psychologist who tells me communication and mental preparedness are really key for returning to the office. In several polls actually surveying how comfortable employees are about heading back to their workplace, one of the top concerns, actually the top concern, was getting sick. Dr. Yurik says that's a very valid concern, and she says it's normal to feel a little anxious, and it's just the natural human instinct of fight or flight, and it's our mind's job to really just protect our bodies, in this case, from COVID-19. That's why she says to have an open dialogue, even with your manager, if you are feeling uncomfortable, even once you get back into the office. This is a time to take risks in speaking up. If you see something, say something. Remember, you know, focus on your principles even. It, it is important to me that everybody in this office, including me, including the family I come home to, is safe and healthy, uh, and I have to do this. But I think in terms of speaking up, I would consider um, sort of easing into a little, a little bit, you know, not coming in and saying, well, Gary wasn't wearing a mask the other day, but instead saying, you know, I've noticed once or twice that not everyone was wearing masks. And that way you're, you're sort of part of the solution instead of singling people out. Yeah, she says tensions are so high that in these types of situations, de-escalation can be key to keeping those conversations calm and rational. And while Dr. Yurik says being vigilant and following those office guidelines are key to staying safe and healthy, don't fall into what psychologists call the fallacy of extrapolation. That essentially says what's happening now will continue to happen in the future, which history shows won't always be the case. Hopefully that puts us a little more at ease, meaning basically, Julia, you know, hopefully, God willing, COVID-19 won't continue on forever. These mm -hmm. times we're in won't feel, always feel like this. I know we call this the new normal, but I got to tell you, I don't know how you felt, Jules, coming back, but I, I had this weird anxiety, even though we've only known the newsroom and the studio, it was weird kind of coming back after working from home for a couple of months. Yeah, and, you know, even going into the stores is always, that you know, that's a little um, anxiety ridden as well. Now, Lindsay, you've worked from home this entire time. How will you feel when you eventually are, if, if, if that happens, transitioning back into the office here? Well, uh, as you guys know, the Weather Center is just kind of like off to the side in its own little world in the studio, and so is our workspaces. And uh, all five of us meteorologists on the staff kind of have our own little work area. So I think I would be okay, but of course, I'm following company guidelines. We have um, at Tegna, we, we get very strict um, updates, and, you know, we're, they're just looking out for, our, you know, the best interest of us employees. So.